Hey guys, Akshay here, and now I'm going to be setting up the HP Envy M6. Now, here's the battery that it came with in the package, so let's slide that out. It's pretty heavy, actually, but normal for a battery, so let's get it in the laptop. So I just plugged in the thing, and I have my power cord plugged in. Now, it goes in right here on the right side. So let's get that in. All the plugs seem to be. And then it does light up orange right there, as you can see. So now let's open it up and set up Windows 8. Now this is the first startup of this new laptop. So... Here is the power button, and let us begin. Screen looks nice. HP, not, doesn't look high resolution. And there is the Windows 8 startup. It looks like that, like a circle. Now my camera does seem to be having blue light, but... Let's see what happens. Should I increase the volume? I'm pretty sure the volume is already up, but here's the volume plus button right here. But I don't think it's going to work right now since it's just starting up. So let's just wait. This might take a while, and if it does, I'm going to like fast forward. And if I haven't explained the specs of the PC, you can watch the unboxing, which I did earlier has 8 gigabytes of RAM 750 gigabytes hard drive okay so region and language right here it asks for that so let's see oh gosh touching the the mouse feels weird for the first time if you're touching it so let's see United States yes that's already correct oh my gosh I'm just like messing things up, making oh what did I just do? United States. Yeah, the key um the mouse pad is hard to use for the first time. So language, I am not from the United Kingdom, so English United States. Keyboard layout, yes, US, everything's why did it just change to United Kingdom? I don't know. Oof. Good thing I caught that in time. So now let's press next. United States, United States, US, next. Saving your settings. Okay, license and terms. Now you have to agree for this. I accept these license terms in this PC. I believe you have to check that right there to the left. And press accept right here. Register and protect. Please take a moment to register your per for personalized care and act activate software to protect your PC. Full name, your email. Email me personal HP products. No, HP recommend protect your PC by no. Learn how to automatically finish, automatically protect your files using HP connected backup. Uh, sure, why not? So let me fill this in. Okay, so it just skipped a little thing, but it had a little screen that said, let's personalize. So now we're doing that. I entered in my name and my email. So now let's get started. And I tested out the keyboard, and it feels really nice on this laptop. It easily, it just easily pushes in and easy to deal with. Um, let's see. Pick a color you'd, you'd like to give to your PC. Mm red. Wait, can we use our keyboard? Oh, yes. The keyboard is also really nice. Just pushes down really easy. Um, now, there are all the colors you can use. Here's this color. This color. And those are all the colors you can use. Now, the middle color is the button color and the outside color. Should I make it green? Purple. 
Hmm. I'm just gonna make it. It's so hard to decide. I know I can change it. Alright, let me make it blue for right now. PC name. Let's just put my name in for that. I, be I believe you can't change your PC name later. Or maybe you can, but on my old PC you couldn't. So let's press next. Okay, so now we need to pick our wireless. So Ooh, my wireless is not on here. Okay, so I'm just going to skip this step for right now. Connect to a wireless network later, right here. Okay, so settings, express settings. Use, you can customize the following settings or choose express settings. If you choose express settings, your PC will occasionally send info to Microsoft and will automatically install, install important and recommended updates. Help protect your PC from unsafe files and websites. Turn on Do Not Track and Internet Explorer. Help improve Microsoft software services and location services by sending us info. Turn online solutions for all. Let apps give you personalized content based on your PC's location, name, and account budget. Turn on sharing and content. Hmm. Prime. Learn about. How do I customize it? Let's just check out the customize. So, customize. Actually, I'm just going to use the express settings because... I don't really want to change anything, so use Express Settings. Okay, so sign into your PC. If you want a password, choose something that will be easy for you to remember and hard for others to guess. Um, right now, I'm not going to set a password because I'm going to try to use my fingerprint detector or fingerprint scanner. That's going to be sort of cool. So username, what should I do? Example, John. Hmm, I'm just going to type in my name again. finish okay well it can't be the same as the username or the PC name so 2598 finish finalizing your settings and now Windows 8 is setting up hi while we're getting things ready Check out the new ways to use Windows. Waiting. There we are. After your PC is ready, move your mouse into any corner. Do I have to press a button? Enter. Is this all it's going to say? Hmm, how do I progress? Arrows? Oh, okay, there we go, I press... We're getting your PC ready, this will take a few minutes. Ooh, that's bright. That is bright. Changing colors. This actually looks really nice compared to when I set up Windows XP. I n I've never owned a PC with Windows Vista or Windows 7. So this is my... This is my first... Uh, PC because I'm going to I'm, I'm going to high school so I'm probably going to use this a lot and it has really good specs for the price you pay for it really the most important thing I liked about this laptop is the fingerprint scanner personally um I think it's pretty nice to add that in but also I also I got the why I got this laptop is it had i5 and 8 gigabytes of ram the other laptops I looked at on the Black Friday sale weren't as good, and, you know, they weren't really... And, like, some of the other ones, for example, other, sto other stores sold the same, the same type of laptop, HP NVM6, this uh, model. And they had, you know, around the same specs, but... Actually, it was around the same specs, but they were all lower like for example some had i3 or 640 hdd but this one had had the highest one uh, best buy so this is why i got this now it's installing the apps this will take a few minutes
I can't wait to test out the Beats Audio. Okay, so if it's finally over installing everything, and now it says let's start. Whoa! Look at that. Windows 8 is set up on the laptop right there. Now, let's see what apps are installed. How do I scroll right? I can't scroll right. Do I have to press the right? How do I scroll right with my mouse? This is messed up. Pressing right, okay, I don't know how to go right. Oh, I ha do I have to scroll with this bottom thing? Oh, that is, that, that's, that's crappy. I, okay, so if you press Windows X, you get that. Start menu right there. Oh, I just got a sound right there, so. Let's see the default apps that we have installed in Windows 8. We have Mail. Right there we have mail, people, messaging, desktop, calendar, photos, finance, weather, news, sports, maps, SkyDrive, Internet Explorer, and the Windows Store right there. Now let's go to the right. Here we have Bing, and here's a live tile. Here's an example of live tile. Why did I open the charms menu? I don't know. Here is live trials, one of the live tiles, which is uh, travel, games, camera, music, video. Let's use the camera for a second. So here it is. Can camera use your webcam and microphone allow? So here I am, right here. The screen's not too good, but, you know. So let's, if you press Alt F4, it should close the app right there, just like in classic mode. It does have watermark on it, so the camera's not too good, but it's it's okay for a laptop camera, you know. Okay, now whenever I move the mouse to the left or the right, it it moves, so that's good. There is video music right here. Let's see if there's any pre-installed music on here that I can play for you guys. Can't connect to Xbox service right now, so let's just go Alt F4, close it, and go to the right now. Oh my gosh, what is this right here? What 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 is this? HP apps. Oh my gosh. I do not want HP apps randomly installed on my laptop, but since it's a HP computer, it just installed it for me. So I have to deal with getting started with Windows 8, register with HP. Microsoft Solitaire Collection, Microsoft Mahjong, I think you have to pay for these, but I got it for free or something, HP Connected Photo, Kindle, iHeartRadio, um, the iHeartRadio is pretty good, you know, Security, Netflix, HP uh, Support, Assist, HP My Room Connected, Music Powered, Microsoft, and then there's, um, there's eBay, and if you go up here and click on your username, you can change your, okay, I know why I keep... I'm using the quick, uh, how do you, I keep sliding my fingers, how do I get out of this now? Okay, just press the start button. So that's basically it for installing and setting up Windows. I'm getting really annoyed by this. Okay, well, that's it for setting up Windows 8. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys later.